السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحسن البصري Everybody knows الحسن البصري Everybody heard about الحسن البصري رحمه الله That man never let his circumstances to control his life He was in control of his life He knows what he wants to be And you know what? He managed to make a name for his name That is recognized inshallah ta'ala until the day of judgment رحمه الله هذا الذي يشبه كلامه كلام الأنبياء. This is the one that his speech sounds and like the the speech of the prophets and the prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم to be specific. That's how the scholar described him رحمه الله تعالى. He uh, was a person who is willing to say the truth, uh, no matter uh, what the cost is, and he always get the best outcome of that. Uh, Al-Hasa al-Basri rahimahullah, he lived during also a very tough time. And in his time, the governor of Iraq, Ibn Hubayra, uh, he, Amr ibn Hubayra, he was under uh, the ruler Yazid ibn Abdul Malik in Damascus. And one time, Amr ibn Hubayra asked Ibn Sirin and al-Sha'bi and al-Hasa al-Basri to visit him. So he asked them to give, each one of them to give him an advice. So Ibn Sirin and Shabi gave him very tactful, you know, advice and words, and, and they were very careful with what kind of message that they sent, they basically delivering to him. But Al Hasan Al Basri, rahimahullah, wasn't like that. He said the truth. He said, "O oh, son of Hubayra, fear Allah more than Yazid, and don't fear Yazid more than Allah. Allah can protect you from Yazid." But Yazid cannot protect you from Allah. Very soon, Allah will send to you an angel who will strip you away from your kingdom, take you down from your throne, from your wide palace to a tiny hall, which is your grave. And in that grave, nothing will help you, nothing will benefit you, nothing will protect you except your good deeds. These words were like, uh, like a healing to the heart of Ibn Hubayr. They were very powerful. That made Ibn Hubayr very satisfied with the advice of Al Hasan Al Basri, rahimahullah ta'ala. And he even doubled the reward for Al Hasan Al Basri. When Ibn Sirin and Al Shabi saw that, they looked at each other and they said, "We gave him cheap advice. That's why he gave us cheap, cheap gifts." But Al Hasan Al Basri gave him very valuable advice. That's why he got very valuable gift. Rahimahullah Taala, his life filled with stories, and inspiration stories, and lessons that we in great need for it today, because he dealt with the society and community very materialistic, and that's why he focused a lot on the concept of brotherhood uh, uh, and the concept of zuhd, being a sadiq being disattached yourself from the dunya, thinking about the akhirah, improving your character when it comes to dealing with Allah or dealing with the creation of Allah. Join us in Torchbearers to learn more about Al-Hasan al-Basri and to learn from his wisdom and to see how can we see in his life so many lessons that it benefit us today in our life at Torchbearers. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.